She was obsessed with seven children of her parents. She commenced her education at Methodist Primary and Middle School and continued as a catering school in Cape Coast. Ramna was raised by her grandmother, Charles Gatti. When her grandmother passed on, she decided to join her brother in a car to look for Bena Pashes. While still staying with her brother, Ramna met a young and famous man called Abobwa J. A. Adolf, who was married at the same time. That year, their marriage was concluded. Abobwa J. A. Adolf, formerly known by all, is a musician who is known worldwide. Her marriage with J. A. Adolf marked a turning point in her life. As her husband began to teach her a lot about music and the music industry, they were blessed with two children, Ruby Ousu Adolfo, known as Adolfo Jr., and Portia Adolfo, and eight stepchildren. Ivy was indeed a wonderful family woman. Being the first of her mother's seven children, she has fostered in education and upbringing of her younger siblings. Throughout her marriage life, she was engaged in some form of trading. In accordance with her selfless nature, she embraced everyone, family member and not, not to part in family activities, paying her dues as well. She would not deny anyone food when she had. Iraqi's grandmother introduced her to Our Lady of Apostle Catholic Church, Cape Coast, at her tender age and was baptized on the 6th of April 1980. She worshipped with the church until 1999 when she was relocated to Accra and introduced to the Divine Armor of God Church International by her husband. She was an active member of the church until last month, June 15th when she was taken ill and was put on medical checkups and treatments. She battled it with life, but did not survive. She had no choice but to respond to the call of her maker. She left behind her ten children, husband and six siblings. On this note, we wish to acknowledge the huge presence of sympathizers and her church members. Nakum and Iraqna, May God Almighty give you rest and keep your soul in peace. Amen. Tribute by the children. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labor for their deed will follow them. Mama Ivy. We are still shocked and cannot come to the terms with the fact that you are gone. How is that possible? On that fateful day, we spoke to you, but nothing in the conversation with you indicated that you were going too soon to be with the Creator. Indeed, it is difficult to believe you have left us. Our mother used to tell us that we could be whoever we wanted to be in life, no matter what the obstacles we encounter. She never gave up on us. She was a person you could always depend on and was our rock. And that is one woman who will be missed by not only her children, but everyone. Our mother sacrificed her own happiness for us. She always said we ought to be nice to everyone. She was a woman of morality, full of life. She was also a good and fearful woman of God. Her love of God made all her children closer to God as well. Her generosity was phenomenal to us and our friends. We brought them in and we kept them with your food and comfort. There are so many memories with our mother that comes to mind, so it will not be possible for us to pick a favorite. Few days before this unfortunate event, you were stronger without any sign of illness. 
when you started complaining about your heart, little did we know you were going to depart from us. To us, you have fought a good fight. I've run the race. The reward is to wait for the crown as Christ has promised the faithful and righteous. Mommy, fare thee well. May your journey be smooth till we meet again. Amen. Amen. Yama and Sema, Yabe, Yabe, Yama and Mano. Ebe, Ebe, Tienia, Ukuna, Fosso, Ekafa, or Yere Emo. Uh, man, Nana, and so I can't get a party and a man in real summer. I tell you, Monsema, I don't to fool you, and I call me a petty. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm Tribute by widow Some thirty four years ago, I met a beautiful woman with a beautiful smile. She was kind and warm hearted and welcomed everyone open arms. Her name was Ivy Obinua Giovanelli, known to everyone as Erabna Dakuma Erabna. Although young at the time, Erabna drew me in with her maturity and kind heart, and I discovered that she was not only beautiful on the outside side, but had the most beautiful heart as well. Erabna took on her role as stepmother to my children with her whole heart, and when God blessed us with two more children, our family became complete. She was not only a friend, she became my wife, but also my best friend. The one person I knew I could speak with about every area of my life, including my work, family, friends, and all who knew her came to love her. Her warm personality and the hospitality that he possessed. Throughout our marriage, Abna showed what I strongly and loyal one she was. She stood by me through thick and thin, and when sickness took hold of me, she not only gave me strength, and comfort but also stood firmly in my shoes and took on a stronger role in my work making the right decisions and choices for our family indeed she proved to me what the bible says in proverbs 18 22 he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord in the rabna i found a very good and god-fearing woman and we enjoyed god's blessings Sixteen April 2020 started out like any other day. Abna went to take a nap and asked the children to wake her up later to prepare the evening meal for the family. Little did I know that my dear wife was never going to wake up fully from that sleep. Since that day, I have reflected on our journey together many times and tried to make sense of your person but nothing makes sense. Abena, I always selfishly thought I would go first, so I don't have to experience this pain. What I would give to have you back with me. How can I never hear your call by my name? Ask, Obuo, what do you want to eat? I'm going to miss your voice your smile and your companionship which has kept me going over the last 34 years. I know life is never going to be the same without you, but I'm grateful to God that he found me a worthy of you to share your life with me. 34 years may seem like a long time to spend without someone, but for me, it was not enough time with you. I wish we had more time. 
how do I carry out without my life partner? Who is going to encourage and motivate me? Who am I going to look forward to seeing when I come back from my travels? Abna, I am eternally grateful to God for the years he gave you to me. But your person has left a vacuum in my heart which shall not be filled on this earth. So it is my prayer that God and that of the children better. We love you and miss you terribly. My only consolation now is that you are with the Lord. Till we meet again, Arabna, my love, rest in perfect peace. Amen. Bonsema Nana Kwame Ampedu Nana Ammaye Ati Bika Titi Brofu Papa Papa O Bonsema Ojon to Fonjini Nana Kwame Ampedu Every year ma Steph Children also so Abeka Womadie and ma Yama many woman to na yan no so Mahima also can o mame or asset. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more. Neither there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Revelation 21 verse 14. A life well lived, they say, is a legacy of joy and pride and pleasure. It is with immense love. Pride and sorrow that we write these words about our loving stepmom. So much has been said and written about mothers. But what about stepmothers? When Mama Eravna came into our lives some 34 years ago, we only knew her as a beautiful woman who brought a smile to our father's face and made him very happy. As we got to know her better and our lives became intervened, we found that this was a woman who was not only beautiful on the outside, but had a heart of gold on the inside. At a young age, she took on eight stepchildren and made us all feel loved. A loving mother who cared about our needs and always encourage us to aim higher and chase our dreams. A fierce protector who would readily defend us if needed. A warm soul. A warm soul who made all our friends feel welcome. And a, and a man was affectionately called her, worked very hard to bring our blended family together and keep us close. Ma made friends easily. Ma was known her for her sense of armor and infectious laughter. When you hear her laugh, you could not help but join in. Indeed, whenever there was a problem of any kind, Ma would use her humor and laughter to diffuse any intention and make sure everyone was happy. If we did something wrong and was not afraid of her stance to rebuke us or tell us where we have gone wrong, and she would, she did this with love and affection. She knew our different personalities and always made sure she related with each of us in a way that suited our personality. A principled woman Ma imparted some of her values into us, and we can proudly say that it is because of her that we are so welcoming of everyone. Ma's hospitality was legendary. She accepted all our friends as her and made sure she always felt welcome in our home. As strong and as spoken as she was, Ma has always had a very kind heart and taught us that a person could be outspoken and strong and still practice kindness and this was beautiful in her. Ma was not only a loving stepmother, 
but a dear friend who was always ready and willing to listen to us and advise us on the best way forward in any situation. Ma was happiest and she was surrounded by her children and grandchildren and loving nothing but then to play a game of Ludo with us. Whenever she really like it or not, or watch a film with us, drawing life lessons from the films to advise us. Ma, we are looking forward to having you with us as we navigate life's journey. But God had other plans for you. We, you have left us with a void which cannot be filled. But we are eternally grateful to God for giving you to us and for everything you did in our lives. We promise to make you proud in all we do and honor your memory with our actions. We will tell our children about what a remarkable woman you were and make sure our children's children know about your generations to come. Thank you, Ma, for the joy you brought to our father. Thank you, Ma, for giving us Ruben and Portia. Thank you, Ma, for all the lessons you taught us. Thank you, Ma, for the love and affection you showed us throughout your life. We miss you, and we pray that God keep you safely until we meet again. Rest in eternal peace, Ma. Amen. I'm here to read a tribute by grandchildren. It is said that having a grandmother is a big blessing. More especially a grandmother who had such a sharp memory like our grandma, Auntie as we call her. We have been left speechless and sad by the sudden death of our grandmother. She loved us so dearly and was always there for us. A lot of questions have been going through our minds as we think about her death. We wonder why her death snatched our dear and strong grandma from us as a time we could leave her to tell her our story. The Bible tells that there is time to be born and a time to die. We take consolation in the fact that our grandmother became a devoted Christian and so hope she is sleeping and will wake up again. We love her, our grandmother. May you rest in peace wherever you are, grandma. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Bon semana, nana no no. Yada baye ena pa ama wom na itichum ponu womu a papa idu ombe wari no no. Sam of free ina so chere papa mami asetina wano wamatina waye ena pa ama wom. Enye eme ni lampo na bema de emo free wari womu a utimichi wom. Nensu ya mami pa papa na bera bomu no ni aye papa kanse na bera bomu ensi saye ebe mu. Nemu no ni mse inkono lo baby kai eja na yiri dofu na so ni yami pen no ye a na yiri eja no ani nti se ni ni na yaba ne tofa ni omo beje ya kani se ya mami eni ebusi atina yipa wama yenga amen bonse ma yesu wo ebe de yo ofa edi ya bre no eko bebre ya pesa ya pesa bre ya eko akusiye ni asani ya yeno atu aso na na ama chide de nupe ni fo bebe abati na hafi ya mopa ya niti ya pesa ya pesa ya mbise finura ya ni besine mwayibi 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 ya ina ya ma ya hon amu na ya ma nsem ema ya hopa o besi bo nsem ma ho wa omwa ya di kaiba enura ya besine sa wanya wa jumtuni nsu so na wa baha ya sa mizi gafona bedua wama ya wuse mizi gafona wa Abriye chile bema akwana 
Ajo to for the doing in a chia gamro penny for a papa rexuma edano amro for so so a amro a papa adofo and other amro for so so amro or no so so amro for no so ha ajo to for kuni bia shiano oma ye who na ye mamma michia na ye papa who say when you answer so mo baby made up one see every baby every yes every yen yum sima bako pe na fe Yadi Yami as seven abro, Yenu Ayafa Kayafa Kaya, Pacho, but you make it number short Kaya, yeah, then you see our nothing Yafa as seven or eight at you. Oh, only nothing really. Titi. Church International and on that area, on the Yamia Sam Amaye and the other Pere Yamu Sama. Before, let 
to make preaching. The person will be so poor as him be. The reason why I am true and no be. Now a new one, a ruby way. Make two first part, you know. Now a ruby not to us, not a pretty. Come, amen. What do you mean? We do we are saying. We do we are saying. I don't say. Mami or do we do we are saying. Da kuma e rabra mo fa sa de ne ba te ne o de ne
Hello, first Samuel. Hello, first Samuel. Chapter 26, Samuel, who made you get to know Sia, did you know Sia no me kind of me as him? And now David is sorry called your soul, actually, it's right about her. Now David is who far from our soul, Nene, Sahini, and then the bar did that. And so saw there, and the assail num a poor ho, now a dunno, actually, it's right by a chahon, a shia, verse six, and a chichamun siano. And now, it's in near Abelic, sir. Sroba Abyssin, you are Niano, sir. Hi now, let me be son a cosso and chain our and Sranumuho. Yes, yes, see, me never be sunny, uncle, Yanka, amen. Oh, and some can see a pa. If I saw your brain, the young shad near me, David, I yet saw papa. Where you saw Nina Mamfrefri or how? Now, a good rabino saw you and I just said a penny as we could do it. Now, so I can tell you, but Jonathan said, Me a bratty with me, Kuno. Now, a good deal, David Effie, a fear cotina in wood. Now, so you and I just said a penny as we did the killer feeling. Now, Bible said. If you do so be a so in a soldier for 
Pasco Abrantie, Pasco Abrantie, who one of the one of one I don't know how I deal with TV, so radio, so television, so far more, far more for Nana. I want to know number one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ampo. But hey, hey, Ampo, Ampo, would him? Ampo, would he let him? Okay, Ampo, would he let him? Ampo, not a brave, you know what? Or try the Emma Pano. Aha, Ampo. Bundes, Ampo, and Bundes. And I run. Then I must say, I you MC Ice Thank you. Sabre, Obianya, Komahanya, Komobia, Home, Obianca, Nakanya, Amamreno. Thank you. Nana was simple, on one or day. I'm not here by so many orphans, just say, Obia Papendio, my minimum. No, we are talking about Saturday, and I was. Come on, 
yewre ahoyi oh da kuma ewra bna yewra ho amen bonsam bonsam hallelujah mo mo chama sambo sambo bonsam ni ba sambo 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 abe ba to hanye di ma
Chacha. On se me catch or say, Bomadin, there should too much GH. On se me kay and yane, Bonnet pan, a cassia pe will be as a yas on you. As one didn't in Adam, one when you are me and Yano. One when you are maybe a washer, she said, and what other place in the idea. Cats a cats a cats won't. No Bomadin never share too much GH. Beshe, Ness so 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 scrub. Bomadin, oh Beshe, no way, so scrub. O so scrub. Eh, so so scrab, na so scrabo, na o so scrabo a, na ubenyani yema pe, a o pe ni yema papa, a o pe, ashe ni yamishira.